so I'm uh, Trine Jensen, and I head up digital quality for the Lego Group. Um, what I really do is I, I manage brand protection, or manage brand reputation um, by making sure that whenever we put digital products or combine products with digital stuff in them, um, I make sure that we uh, we keep a pretty pretty good quality standard in in the digital products too. So. Um, the, we have so much research that clearly indicates that play is important to acquire really important skills, um, to get on and be successful uh, in the 21st century where, you know, everything is rapidly changing and digitalization is reshaping the world around us. And we know that learning through play, Lego play, is acquiring the kids with some essential skills to be able to navigate in this ever-changing world and uh, make them successful um, and release their full potential. So we know play is important. We also know that they have less and less time to play. Um, so we want to make sure that when we engage with them, we do it with purposeful products where they can release their full potential and they can you know, get smarter to navigate in this world and they can do it within the time they have available to do so. Also, because they have parents who like them to do something meaningful with their lives, so not just sitting in front of a screen, we need to be able to cater to both the parents and to the kids that are our main consumers. The reason why we have created a product health score is that we see a huge increase in connected toys, connected experiences, you know, as kids become more and more um, interested in, in digital screenplay. Um, we don't have a formula to safeguard those experiences to the same degree as we know and champion the physical quality um, safeguarding. Um, so we have built a product health score, which is a conversation tool and a good conversation starter to teach the organization um, to co-create and uh, drive a change in how we look at quality from a more objective and data-driven opinion or set of opinions. So what we have basically done is that we have consolidated a lot of data from various uh, sources of data that tells us something about how the products are performing out in the live environments amongst the kids. How is the product uh, perceived? Uh, and we use that, uh, we consolidate all of the KPIs that we have defined that tell something about the product. Um, and we use it as a good conversation starter to navigate uh, the products based on more data-driven, objectified opinions. That's the main idea with, with this tool. It's an internal tool. Yeah, but it's, it's, uh, we, we need to be able to not to compromise the, the ability to, to, to deliver products with speed and agility that are you know, essential to delivering uh, digital products. But we need to be able to deliver with speed and agility without compromising quality because Lego is a symbol of quality and this little piece of plastic that we are so famous for, um, we will not be able to deliver the same quality but hopefully perceived by the kids as the same quality because we also need to deliver, you know, um, with agility and, and sometimes, you know, even launching minimal viable products just to see how they're perceived in the market. That's also something we need to explore more. Um, and we need to drive a new fail fast culture in the Lego group where, you know, we, we, uh, we dare to be brave enough to experiment more. But uh, once we, we know and we learn from observing how the products are received by the kids, we should be able to adopt the to the changes faster than we can today. So that's what I mean about quality. It's not the same, but we are very strongly focused on, on um, getting up to speed on, on the digital part as well, and at least have a, a data-driven um, mindset around how we can build this compass to navigate from. I think uh, this is just the beginning. We will see definitely more and more uh, connectivity and more and more digital drivers in play. It will always be with a point of departure in our core value proposition, which is this little piece of plastic. So we might see, you know, and we will see experiences coming out where the, the physical brick is more the enabler of the digital virtual experience, uh, but it will always be rooted in our core DNA, and that is this little lovely, wonderful, versatile system in play. Mm -hmm.